Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Massive Car Head. 8. 1969 Chevrolet Yenko Camaro, 200 units. Don Yenko, a Chevrolet dealer builder of limited production specialty cars, masterminded a highly desired first-generation Camaro model. The Yenko Copo special order-based Camaro had a factory-equipped iron block 427 cubic inch L72 V8 engine that could churn out 425 horsepower. These Camaros received distinctive badges and stripes and got topped off with performance goodies like power disc brakes and heavy-duty suspension components, with Yanko's 1969 Camaro run only having 200 units. Haggerty estimates the value of a number one condition 1969 Yanko Camaro at $335,000. 7. 1969 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 69 units Consider the blue chip model among muscle car collections. The value of a 1969 ZL1 in number one condition presently stands at about $838,000 according to Haggerty. The initial production run included only 50 units, just enough to homologate the Camaro into NHRA Super Stock Racing Class, a further 19 ZL. 1S were later added and distributed among Chevrolet dealers, bringing the total to 69. Also ordered through the Copo system, Chevrolet fitted these Camaros with a ZL1 performance package with a 427 CI aluminum V8 capable of up to 550 HP. However, they listed the official output as 430 horsepower and 450 pound-feet to avoid scrutiny by GM. Car number 59 of the 69 units sold for $1,094,500 in 2020, making it the most expensive Camaro ever sold at auction. Number 6. 2012 Chevrolet Copo Camaro Race Car, 69 units. Like the original big block Copo Camaro ZL1 of 1969, Chevrolet made only 69 examples of this 2012 to 2013 special Copo model, built specifically for NHRA stock eliminator drag racing and super stock classes. They aren't street legal and owners can't register them for the road as they got sold without a VIN. Still, buyers had no qualms about paying Chevrolet's official starting price of more than $100,000. Under the hood, there's a 5.3-liter supercharged V8 engine, but a collector's package would swap it for a monstrous 7.0-liter V8. The first example auction for charity fetch a handsome $700,000. Number 5. 1967 Chevrolet Camaro 49 units the first Camaros ever were handmade pilot assembly vehicles built at the Norwood, Ohio plant in mid-1966. Chevrolet made only 49 units in the original run and used them for testing before the regular production of this iconic model got underway. The Camaro displayed here with VIN number 100001 is one of those early pre-production models and the first Camaro ever documented. Chevrolet used it to introduce the Camaro to the public and also acted as a public relations photo and promotional film car. Under its hood lays a 3.7-liter inline-six engine linked to a 3-speed manual transmission. Number 4. 1988 Chevrolet Camaro, Erog Z1 LE4 units. In 1988, Chevrolet made the Camaro Erog Z with two engine options. The first was a tuned port injection 305 cubic inch V8 engine with 195 HP and a 4 speed automatic or 220 HP and a 5 speed manual. The second option was a 350 cubic inch engine with 230 ponies and a 4 speed automatic transmission. However, like the Copa cars of the 1960s, you could have the Erox Z with the one LE package, while Chevrolet feared that the package would be excessive for the streets, requiring owners to prove they'd use it in either SCCA or IMSA completion. With the strict requirements, Chevrolet only made four units in 1988, although the subsequent years saw much larger production. 3. 1970 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 Hearst Sunshine Special 3 units. 1970 marked the first year of the second gen Camaro, which was heavily restyled. Later iterations are more 
popular, but serious collectors lean towards the early all-out performance models, as well as unique models like the Hearst Sunshine Special. The 1970 Hearst Sunshine Special stands out because Chevrolet only produced three of them, each equipped with an experimental power sliding sunroof that was never put into production. We know only the one displayed here exists, which means that it may one day auction for a crazy amount. Number 2. 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS Pace Car 2 Units Two years after pacing the Indy 500, the Chevrolet Camaro returned in 1969. It had a striking hugger orange color scheme making it one of the most popular pace cars of all time. According to records, Chevrolet only made two Camaro SS Pace Cars. These pony cars had a 375 HP 396 cubic inch engine and TH400 automatic transmissions. One of the cars acted as a backup to its sibling. However, due to the popularity of these pace cars, Chevrolet built a total of 3,675 replicas with a mix of 350 and 396 cubic inch engines. Number 1. 1968 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 Convertible – 1 Unit as the 1968 regular production Z28 Camaro was unavailable as a convertible, this convertible Camaro was custom, hand-built for Chevrolet general manager Pete Estes by Vince Biggins, a man who never received formal training in engineering but knew about cars and engines more than everyone around him. A variety of unique components like cross-rim intake manifold, cowl induction hood, and four-wheel disc brakes set the Camaro apart from the regular production Z28s. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.